Hi everyone, we are back at the Global AI Student Conference. For the people that have just joined our live stream, we have two exciting opportunities for you. You can complete our Cloud Keys Challenge at ak.ms slash learn-challenge, uh, which is a collection of learn modules about AI. You can go to the website and complete this, the collection of the learn module uh, that we have selected for you to sharpen your skills on AI technologies. By joining our CloudSeeds Challenge, you will be on a leaderboard where you can compete with people from all around the world uh, to uh, see who will complete first all the learn modules. And we have more. You can uh, claim your own learning partner by Azure Heroes program. Uh, you can go to the website ak.ms slash gai dash badger, scan the QR code, and you will claim your own NFT. This is one of the many badgers that you can claim. And you can join a community of over 12,000 badgers worldwide. I have my own badger, and you can also take yours by watching our live stream. Loxley, can you introduce our next speaker? Yes, of course. So our next speaker is Anam Sayeda, and she'll be doing a talk on the AI voice assistant using Python. Anam, are you there? Everyone. Hello, everyone. So yes, I'm very excited for the session. So uh, let's begin. Awesome. Great. We're super excited to have your talk. And also, we know that you have uh, your very own website called The She Coder as well. So super excited to hear about that and your talk as well. Uh, yes, I do have a website called thesheCoder.com, and um, yes, um, let's start. Thank you so much. So let me share my screen now. Yes. I hope my screen is visible. We can't see it yet. Um, is it visible now? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, yes, it is. OK, um, so I'll start now. Hello, everyone. I'm Anam Sayeda Fatima. I'm a recent graduate and an, an ex-Microsoft Learnster ambassador for Oman. I've also worked as a machine learning intern at Capture, and I do have a website called as thesheCoder.com. So do check it out. And as you know, today's session, we are going to learn about how to build your own AI voice assistant using Python. So without any further delay, let's get started. More than a decade ago, touch screen technology was fictional. That means it could be seen only in movies and books. But with the release of Apple's first iPhone in 2007, touch screen gained mainstream popularity and became a very prominent part of our daily lives. But now we are moving into a new era. We're transitioning from touch screen to voice. This is the era of voice assistance. A voice assistant is basically an AI that recognizes, understands, and responds to human commands. You all must be familiar with Cortana, Alexa, Siri. All these are examples of voice assistants. So just let me show you Microsoft's own voice assistant called as Cortana. And uh, I know you must be familiar with voice assistant, but I just want you to notice two things that we're going to do uh, with our own project. So let me just start. Hello, uh, hello, Cortana. What's up? To find out, try saying, show my calendar. Open Google. All right. I'll open Google Chrome. OK, so the two things that I want you to notice is that the first thing. So while we were speaking, our speech was converted into text right over here. And the second thing that happened was 
the text was converted into speech, right? Uh, Cortana was speaking the results. So that is text to speech conversion. So these two are basically the main task of voice assistant. The first task is to convert speech to text. And the second task is to convert text to speech. Keeping these two things in mind, we will now start our own uh, project, which would be making our own AI voice assistant in Python. So for this, I'm using an IDE called PyCharm, but you can use any IDE that you are comfortable with. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, we are going to install Python packages. And to install Python packages, all you need to do is go to Google and you need to type like the four packages we're going to download for this project are going to be like speech recognition, Py audio, Python text to speech, and Py Wordkit. Okay, so to download these packages, uh, go to Google and then just type the speech recognition Py PI. Now, Py PI is a website from which we're going to download our Python packages. So over here from the search results, you will find pypi.org and we're just going to click that. And uh, we're just going to copy this command. Now you ha have this command over here, you can just copy and go to your terminal and go to your terminal uh, terminal over here and we're just going to paste the pip command. Okay, and just press enter. Now what this is going to do is it's going to download the Python packages. And since my um, packages were already installed, so it comes like the requirement already satisfied. But for you, if you have not downloaded, you will see uh, the whole process of downloading. Okay, so the first package was the speech recognition package. The second package that we are going to use is going to be um, Py Audio. Okay, and again, you just, uh, you're going to just copy and you're going to paste that into the terminal. And similarly, uh, we are going to be uh, inst uh, installing Python text to speech, which you can see over here and PyWatKit. So these are the four packages that we are going to install using the same method that I showed you. Now, after installing these packages, all you need to do is you have to import these packages first so that our code can work. So I'm going to import my packages using the import statements. And the first package that we're going to import is the speech recognition package. And the speech recognition package uh, basically will help our speech will help us to you know help the voice assistant to recognize the human commands and also convert speech to text. Okay, and we're just going to give that short form as SR. And then we're going to import Python text to speech. Uh, and this Python text to speech is going to convert our the text to speech. So it will help our voice assistant to speak out the results. And the next is PyWatKit, and this has a very interesting function that uh, we're going to uh, know later in this code. And whereas we're not importing Py Audio, but we still need to install Py Audio because without installation of Py Audio, our speech recognition package won't work. So we need to install that. And I personally experienced errors when I did not install Py Audio. Okay, so though you don't need to uh, um, import it, but still you need to install. And over here, these three packages, which is date, time, web browser, and since these all are basically built in Python packages that you do not need to install and you just need to import them. So after importing all these packages, we're going to move on to the main part, which is converting speech to text. So the first line of our code is going to be, uh, we're going to create a variable. I just named the variable as ear. Uh, because my ref my logic was that we humans, we usually listen and recognize uh, human words with help of our ear, right? That's the main uh, part that is um, help us to recognize human words, right? So that's what the reference I took. So we're going to uh, declare a variable and we're going to call the uh, speech uh, recognizer method from the speech recognition uh, package. Now from the name itself, we can tell that this basically helps the voice assistant to recognize the human commands, to recognize the human words. So that's what we're going to do the first step. 
Now, these are the comments. Uh, I have commented these lines because they come later. So I'm just going to jump to this part uh, in which in which we are going to um, the main function, which is speech to text conversion is going to happen. So first I'm going to declare a function, which is the input command. Now this function basically will help us to input our commands, like it will take our commands and um, give that to voice assistant. And we're going to put that into try and accept block over here. Okay, and why we're using try and accept block is that is because uh, we are going to call the microphone method from the speech recognition uh, package. And this sometimes microphone, you know, they can throw errors. So we need to catch that. So that's the uh, reason why we're going to use the microphone, why you're going to use the try and accept block. And we are just uh, calling the microphone method and we're just naming that as source over here. So microphone, microphone will be called as source. The next step uh, is we're going to print uh, these dots. So basically it's an indication for us to start speaking. So even you must have seen over here when you just switch on, there is a line, right? That's an, an indicator for I'm us. I'm sorry, to speak. but I can't help with that yet. So that's what this dot, these dots are, that are the indication. And the next step, uh, the next line of code is basically we are uh, we are adjusting our environment noise, comparing our environment noise to our own human noise. So what this does is um, the voice assistant. If you do not write this line of code, personally, I've experienced that you will get an error. Like your voice assistant won't be able to catch your voice because if there are background noises going on. So what we have to do, this line of code will differentiate your voice from the background voice. And the minimum duration it needs is at least 0.5 seconds for it to differentiate between your voice and the background noise. And over here again, we, um, from the name itself, we're decla uh, first we're declaring a variable. And from the name itself, we can tell that it's going to listen to our microphone. That's the main function. And again, I'm going to declare a variable and we're going to call the recognize Google. It's recognize Google is basically an API that will help us to convert our speech to text. This is the main one that is helping us to convert speech to text and it's a Google API. And we're passing our audio, the one which we were listening, right? We are pa passing that. And yeah, we are going to print our commands uh, just to see what we are speaking. So that is basically speech to text conversion. And over here we have this accept part and then we're going to return the commands. So let's run and see. Um, how the first part is that is converting speech to text. Hello. So yeah, as you can see our speech, what I said was hello is converted to text. So that's the first main part of you know, voice assistant. Now the second main part, the second main task you can say is to convert text to speech, right? So to do that, we uh, are going to call, we're going to use a Python text to speech package. And I'm just going to declare a variable which is called as assistant and I'm going to initialize a Python text to speech package so that we can use it. So after initializing our Python text to speech package, we're going to declare a function as speak of, so basically it's like our voice assistant is speaking. And we're going to pass text, right? Okay, so uh, this assistant dot says, so we had already initialized the Python text to speech package. We're going to use that over here. And we are, that dot save is from the name you can make out. It's going to allow a voice assistant to speak. And just passing the text and run and wait. Now, without this run and wait, what voice assistant is uh, will say won't be audible to us. So this is very you know compulsory to add. I will show you also like without this uh, line of code, we won't be able to hear what our voice assistant is going to say. So let's um, begin. So okay, over here I'm going to call our speak function and then 
whatever command I'm going to say, I want the voice assistant to tell that same command. So let's see how this works. Hello. Hello. So there we go. We have convert covered two main parts, which was converting speech to text, and the second was converting text to speech. But you know, majority of the voice assistant they have female voice, right? Like even Cortana, Alexa, Siri, they all have female voice. There's no harm in having a male voice, but if you want a female voice. Uh, what you can do is um, Python text to speech has a method, okay? And um, basically, we're just going to get, uh, we're going to use the get property method from Python text to speech, and we're going to call the voices key, okay? So we're going to go, uh, we're going to call the voices, and then we're going to set that voices uh, one. So zero is for male, and one is for female. Now, after writing these two line of code, uh, you would see that our voice assistant would have a female voice. Hello. Hello. So there you go. So this was our the two main tasks which we covered. One more thing was that I said uh, that without our run and wait command, the voice assistant won't be audible, right? So I'll just show you why the run and wait command is very necessary. Hello. Okay, so it could not catch my voice, so let's repeat. Hello. So yeah, without run and wait, you could see the voice was not audible, right? So that's why we need to add this. Now, after covering these two main tasks, which was converting speech to text and text to speech, we're going to move on to the main fun part of our voice assistant. And over here, we're going to add all those functions, like whatever functions you want your voice assistant to perform. Right, we're going to use over here. So again, we're going to define a function. And we're just calling that function run assistant. And uh, over here, you can see uh, that we're going to call our input command. So input command basically takes our command, right? I'm just passing that to a variable command. So let me just comment or uh, this. Thing and because the main thing which we are going to run is going to be the run assistant. And uh, you must have seen, right? When I said hello, um, Cortana responded like hi and all those stuff. So we're going to do that. So if hello, it's in command. So if the voice assistant recognizes hello in the command, the, uh, in what we have spoken, so it's going to print, hi, I'm your voice assistant. How can I help you? And also it's going to call the speak function. Now the speak function is over here, which we had declared. And it's going to also speak like, hi, I'm your voice assistant. How can I help you? So let's run and check. Hello. 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 Hi, I am your voice assistant. Dot. How can I help you? So there you go. So that was the introduction part of a voice assistant. So suppose someone says hello, we can just respond in that way. The next thing which we want is the time, right? So to know the time, uh, suppose the user is going to ask what time is it? 
and we want to print out the time and even we want the voice assistant to speak out the time, right? So we had imported date and time package, right? At the start, we're going to call that over here. And date and time package has a method, uh, which is again date and date time dot now. So it's basically the current time. And this is a basically formatting our time. So this I over here is hours and M is minutes. Whereas um, percentage P is basically AM and PM. We're going to print in that format. So we're going to print the time and we want our voice assistant to speak current time is and it's going to print. It's going to speak. She's going, it's going to speak our time, right? What time is it? What time is it? Current time is 04 colon 21 p.m. Now, um, another function which you could add is like, you know, we want to open any websites with help of our voice, right? And Cortana was able to do that. So we will make our own voice assistant uh, able to do the same thing. So to do that, all you need to uh, use is the web browser. Now the web browser also is a built in Python package. You don't need to install, you just need to import. And web browser has a method which is open new tab. So it's our website is going to be open in new tab. And you can, uh, you just need to pass the URL. Even if you want to um, use open YouTube or any other websites, you can just again, elif and you can just write open YouTube in command and then you can just pass the YouTube URL. So let's see, it's going to be interesting. Open Google. Open Google. Opening Google. So there you go. Our, the Google was opened in new tab. And it's very simple. You just need to import the web browser. Okay, so now we want to play any YouTube videos, right, or any YouTube songs. Yeah, again, we have a package for that, which was I said, uh, PyWatt Kit, right? And we also imported that. We installed this package and imported. So over here, we're going to declare a variable song. And suppose if I say play one direction, right? So we just need that one direction part. We don't need that play part, right? So for that, we're just using the replace uh, method and we're just replacing the play part with an empty string. Then again, we're just passing that to speak and print. So playing plus, suppose it will say one direction, the so playing one direction, then print or uh, playing one direction. And the PyWatt kit has a method which is play on YouTube and it's going to pass the song, the variable. So let's see. Play one direction. Play one direction. Playing one direction. So there you go. As you can see, it's going to play the one direction night changes. That's my favorite song too. Okay. So that was it, it was quite simple if you think about it and but still it's quite fascinating at the same time right and yeah that's it only the last thing over here is like if you want to switch off your voice assistant you can just say stop or if there's buy in your command right just like stop uh, uh stop voice assistant or buy voice assistant so that's what is written over here so it's going to just speak voice assistant is shutting down and this is dot exit. It basically makes our program stop running. And this is also built in Python package. So let's try that. Stop. Okay, so there's an error, but let's check because it did not catch my voice. Stop. Stop. Voice assistant shutting down. So yeah, it just makes your program stop running. 
And over here we have the else part. In case if you speak um, tell anything which the voice assistant cannot perform, it will just say, sorry, uh, I could not understand the command. And this is the final part, which you have to include in your voice assistant. So the one thing which we did not uh, do was we did not have the open YouTube, right? So let me see if it responds to that. Open YouTube. Open YouTube. Sorry, I could not understand the command. So yeah, uh, this was it. This is how you could build your own voice assistant. Right. And yeah, one more thing is that you can add over here while true so that your voice assistant can run continuously. But for that thing, let me warn you, you need a very good internet connection for that thing to, uh, for your voice assistant to run in loop. And I have done that. Let me just show you. So yeah. This is just my first blog post, which was basically building your own voice assistant you, in Python. And in this blog, I have also, you know, I have added extra functions. And extra packages are there and you can find the code also. Right. So we have explained. So since I've explained the main function, the main features of this voice assistant, rest of the things are going to be easy. So we had done this. Okay, so we had just displayed the time, but over here I've also uh, shown how you can display the day and the date, and you can display the calendar too. And suppose you want, there are like questions like who is uh, Donald Trump or something, if you want to ask that kind of questions. We're going to fetch the data from Wikipedia. And since it's very simple, you just need to install the Wikipedia package. And again, as I explained it. So yeah, you can just go through this and fetching weather and all those, answering your mathematical questions, sending WhatsApp message. All this is there. So yeah, please do check it out. And for this session, that's it. Thank you so much uh, for joining me in this session. And thank you so much. Thank you, Anam. Your presentation was it was great and your demos were excellent. So congratulations. <laughs> you did a fantastic job on them. And I especially liked how you showed the entire process from the beginning to the end, downloading the packages so that beginners following along could exactly follow all of your steps and basically repeat it. I also, the end, having it play One Direction, I was so <laughs> amazed personally. Hey, so we can... So we have a couple of, of questions for you. Uh, the first one, we have a lot of students that are watching a live stream right now, and they want to know if there are some learning resources to learn more about all the Python libraries for AI, like the Bi audio that you saw in your demo. Uh, can you repeat just a minute? Yes, um, can you suggest what? some learning resources or learning about Python packages okay. for AI? Oh, yes. Uh, so for learning, you can find, you know, many online resources are there on Google. You can just just type by audio and you'll find so many things, resources related to that. That's how I learn. I don't learn from a particular website or a particular video, anyone, because, uh, you know, some websites may have something good written about by audio, but they won't explain much better things in much better way about some other packages. So I would just say in general, just type in Google and you will find obviously many resources and it's going to be very helpful because that's how I have learned and my friends have learned and I'm sure many beginners do the same thing. Thank you. And our second question, is it possible to use uh, libraries for text to speech or speech to text in languages other than English? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? I'm so sorry. Is it possible to use a uh, Python libraries for text to speech or speech to text in languages other than English? Okay, so you want uh, a Python package that can use like 
both the functions in one, right? Uh, no, well, exactly. We don't yeah. have for that. Uh, More we like, need a separate one. Like, could we need you, a separate package. Is it possible to use the speech to text or text to speech packages in a language other than English? Like, is it accessible for people who speak other languages? Okay, okay. Uh, so, yes, it's possible. But then you have to check it out. Like, there are not many languages, right? But I feel it's going to be only the English language, which is going to be preferred. But I'm sure Pi Audio is going to be used for all the languages which are available in a voice assistant, right? Those languages will be available to the general languages because, you know, a voice assistant was built with help of Pi Audio and all those things, even Cortana and Alexa. So those languages would be available, yes. So thank you so much for your presentation and for joining us today in the Global AI Student Conference. We'll take a short break and be back for the next presentation soon.